Hey everybody, this is a Frigidaire refrigerator and this is the Pure Source Ultra water filter that came with the unit and the water is uh, starting to taste funny, the ice is tasting funny. A lot of people online say that even when you put in a new filter it might be even worse so that's something you need to be aware of. You also need to be aware of who you're purchasing your items from. Uh, a lot of online purchasers complain that they ended up buying a used filter. So the minute your order arrives, open it up, take them out of the box, make sure, I bought a double pack here, a dual pack, two pack, make sure that both filters look new. I just removed this from the box. It doesn't look like there's sediment on there. It doesn't look like it was installed and returned because they couldn't make it work. So it looks like the instructions, the instructions say install it according to the instructions of the manufacturer, which is kind of ridiculous. So what they want you to do is remove these two things, and then I believe you just insert them, and uh, that's it. You push it into the unit, and I think it seats in. So I'm going to find out in a minute. We'll find out together. But that's how you install these things, I believe. It comes with a sticker so that you can uh, tell yourself when to replace it, but the refrigerator has electronics. The display tells you when to replace it. And you can usually uh, reset that thing and go for double the time if you want to even though the uh, manufacturer says don't. All right, so I'm going to go get this on a tripod, and we'll install it and see if uh, I get water leaks like some people complain about. Um, I will definitely get dirty water. When I first bought the refrigerator, I probably, they say run the water for about three minutes. I probably ran it for about five, at least five, until the water was not filthy, because you're flushing out the filter, even though it's brand new, you're flushing out your filter, and getting all the air out of the system also. So let me get this on a tripod, and we'll test it out together. All right, if you look, it says push to engage, push to remove. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that and record this and do it at the same time and not cause a massive flood, but I'm going to see if I can set this up so that you can watch. Um, normally, I don't like to do this stuff at night or on the weekends in case I have a flood and I need to shut off the water or call a plumber so I don't flood the people below me, but here we go. Okay, let's see. Do we have this in the video? This little piece that's... Uh, on the top. That, if you look on the on the unit over here, is on the top. So this is going to go in with these things. You have to remove these top pieces, these little rubber pieces. Alright, you just heard the little pop, the pressure, so there's... I think there was some pressure in there. Maybe not. Now I'm going to zoom in again. So I want you to be able to do this like I'm doing. And it says push to engage. So let's try this and see if we get water spilling or... I removed it, and I'm going to put the new one in, push, that was pretty simple, and I don't know if I'm going to remember that, so I'm going to put a little sticker on here so I do remember it, um, I don't hear any, this thing feels kind of full, I don't know if it's sediment, it's probably got water in there, I don't see any water leaking, make sure you look for water leaking after you do this, um, you definitely don't want to have a flood, so I'm going to put a paper towel underneath here and see if I feel any water leaking, see if the paper comes up moist. Uh, sorry about using the word moist for the ladies that are watching this video. I know you hate that word. Moist. Okay, so uh, I feel no water over there. I feel no leaking. And now I'm going to uh, go try to flush this thing. Okay, <clears throat> I'm using a uh, glass container so that you can see what's going on here. I just, uh, you can hear the air, you can hear the air. I'm sure you heard it. That's the filter filling up. The water is going to go through the filter. So far it's coming out clear, which I'm really surprised. But like I said, you've got to do this for a few minutes. They say three minutes. You've got to do this for a couple of minutes because you really want to flush out that filter. And you want to flush out the pipes and all the... Well, there we go. Okay, you saw that air that just shot through there. I'm glad that happened because that's why I'm doing this video. Get the air. There's no water coming out now. It's going to sputter and then it's going to come out. That's the air that's in the system, air that's in the filter. 
Looks like a person's having a uh, medical problem there. <laughs> okay, I didn't say that. A um, little bit of tinkling there now. The water is not really flowing out well. Looks like a, a urinary problem. Um, sputtering out, again, that's the air. There's no water coming out now. There's a lot of air in the system that you're flushing out. Now you're going to start to see it. I think you can see it. Let me shut this. Let me shut this off. I want you to see it. Look at the water. That's the filthy, cloudy water. Very important that you get rid of that dirt. Okay, let's get this back over here again. I uh, adjusted the camera so you can see all the dirty water. That's important, though. That that is really unhealthy to be drinking. And a lot of the online posts complain about they ran this thing for 10 minutes and the water was always dirty. Well, that's not true. Um, unless you've got a very bad system or a really screwed up filter. It, it does take a lot of water to flush through here to clear this out. I've gone through two containers of this now. And... I'm going to shut off the video. Still sputtering. I'm almost uh, at my third quart. I can hear air gurgling in the system. And you can see the, uh, the water is still sputtering out. And it's still pretty dirty. It's kind of clear, but it's dirty in the container. This is the third quart. Um, Not a bad experience doing this, uh, considering so many complaints online, which is typical. Most people who are happy don't complain. But uh, this is the Frigidaire, as I said, uh, ultra filter that I bought on the online Amazon site <clears throat> in a two-pack. And uh, hopefully you watch all my other videos, subscribe, do a thumbs up. Go to my main channel page, click on uh, support this channel and help me out. We're in the fourth port and it's still sputtering. There's still air in the system. Um, I still hear a lot of noise coming from the fridge. Fourth port, water is starting to look a lot better. It's probably okay to drink it, but I'm going to go for one more. And then I'll uh, end the video. Hopefully this helped. You remember, like I said, you push the filter in, and it's got like a little snap engagement in there, so you press in. Don't press hard. Don't use a lot of force. Press in. You saw what I did. And then uh, you should hear a little snap, a little pop, a little crackle, and then it should come out. And then you slide your other one in with that little ridge on the top, facing the top, um, and it will go on the channel, and then you push in until it engages, and you'll hear your little snap, crackle, pop thing, and then five quarts, and we're still sputtering. I feel really bad because we have a drought in California, and I should be putting this on plants, or I should be taking a shower with this or something, but uh, as you can tell, I'm throwing it down the drain. Um, oops, okay, so that's a bad me, bad me. Six quarts, and I think it's going to be good. The water is coming out really clear now. You can see over here, water filter, good. Um, I think it resets automatically when you put a new filter in. Make sure you uh, make a little note of the month and year that you put the filter in. Or you might want to put it on the sticker or put it uh, in a drawer somewhere. And that way you'll know when you need to change it. Even though it will tell you when you need to change it, like I said, you usually don't need to. Let me take a taste of this. Um... doing those sound effects for the video. Yeah, it tastes like water. Definitely tastes like water. Why? Because it is water, damn it. Okay, um, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you appreciate this, and like I said, go to my donate page on the main channel thing, and uh, try to send me, nine, send me $9 trillion. Thank you. Peace out.